Get a thing, please wait. Da da da, by the way. And welcome to something I don't know what's gonna I don't know quite well this will do on my channel, but let's try it anyway. That's something we want to do for a long, long time, ever since I heard of this game, and this is probably why. Uh and that is because well this is a very interest it's a very different game. It's well, let's say it. I guess we should I guess I should welcome you to Welcome to Google Walkthroughs. Let's play as Enterprise Chronicles X or known as Europe as Cross or was it Japan? I forgot, but oh well. Uh, and I'm the Schwine. Here we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles X and or Cross. That is the special successor to Xenoblade, to Xenoblade Chronicles, which came out on the Wii and more recently came out on 3DS. Uh, and and Xenoblade Chronicles came out in uh, 2010 for Japan, 2011 for Europe and Australia, and 2012 for North America, the original, uh, on the Wii, and on 3DS they all came out in 2015. Uh, and this is the, and this is the special successor to that. Why, how is it the special successor? Well, it doesn't show the same story, more or less. I mean, in, some elements are similar, but for the most part, it's a completely new story, completely new setting, completely new everything. Except there are elements that are carried over, like some of the, uh, like some of the people are carried over, some of the, uh, and a lot of gameplay elements. Basically, the game is basically just an expansion of Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, just modernized, uh, as far as you can make a 2010 game. Uh, and Xenoblade Chronicles, by the way, this is the, I want to say, let me count one, one, two, three. For fifth game in the Xeno series, uh, and that is a series of games coming from the PlayStation One actually back in uh, 1998 uh, with Xeno Gears, and then later on in, in the PlayStation Two era, they came out a game called Xeno Saga, and that was a pre-made and that was a pre-made um, the pre-made saga basically. Uh, uh, they planned on making three games, and they did. Uh, from 2000, from 2002 to 2006, uh, Xeno Saga spanned, uh, and and it was and it was split up in three episodes. Uh, and all these games are completely unrelated, except for Xeno Saga is related to the other sagas directly. They're direct sequels to each other, despite the fact that they changed the appearance of the characters and other weird things. Uh, however, the rest of the Xeno series is completely unrelated to each other. Like Xeno Gears is not related to Xeno Saga, Xeno Saga is not related to Xenoblade Chronicles, Xenoblade Chronicles is not re uh, it's a, you know, it's, it, it's the spiritual predecessor to Xenoblade Chronicles X. So, what are these games? Well, Xenoblade Chronicles was, basically was heralded as the best JRPG of the Wii, uh, Xbox 60, PS3 area, also known as the Generation also known as the Generation uh, 7 era. And, um, yeah. And basically, the reason why Xenoblade Chronicles was such a success, well, it wasn't such a success. It was a cult classic, as you would call it, as in, it basically was, you know, it was flipped under the rug for the first bit of its lifespan, and then after a certain point, people started loving it, and then it became rare. As in Xenoblade Chronicles, if you want one, if you want the original Wii version, you have to find it. I found I found one on Amazon.com for $83. However, that's not the one I have right now. Actually, that is the one I have right now. However, I got it for $53 as Amazon does what it does and marks down prices every now and then. I guess they weren't selling the uh, I guess they weren't selling it, so they decided to mark it down. So yeah. Uh, so I got me a $53 Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, new, basically. Uh, which was pretty awesome, although it's the UAE version, uh, or at least it was made in UAE, or something similar to that. 
And I wanted to make videos of it, but unfortunately, I ran into a weird, weird flaw. I, I, I ran into a weird, weird bug. Basically, it recorded fine. It went to win, win the fair fine. It, you know, it was, I could sync the audio just fine and edit it just fine. However, when I went to render it, for whatever reason, the audio was all buggy. Uh, I'm, there could be a reason behind this. It could be the fact that I switched, be, I was recording this on the Wii U because I don't have any, I don't have any, uh, SD, uh, I don't have any SD capacity, uh, I don't have any, any SD capacity, so I can't, so I cannot record the Wii by itself or the PS2 by itself, unfortunately. So, uh, I actually, you know, did it, no, when you, when you play a Wii game on the Wii U, basically what you do is, you click on what you, what I did at the beginning of this video, you click on that, then it goes to the Wii menu, however, when we went to the Wii menu, apparently it didn't like the apage, so bad things happened, and, uh, bad things happened, and I think that's what caused it, so why, if I want to record a Wii game on the Wii U, I probably should not do that, I probably just should record it just straight up the, uh, Wii menu. Uh, or at least I think I do. Or maybe it's a single play Chronicles, which I can't record. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out eventually. But that's a weird bug. Um, so I mean, it's I have I have a first hour recorded. I have two videos recorded. However, I can upload them because the audio is going to be out of sync if I try rendering them. However, I could try pulling out window. Uh, I could try pulling out Sony Vegas, and that could work. Uh, we'll see. Um, that they're not quite dead to me yet. Uh, but anyway. So, uh, Zaneblade Chronicles, uh, I mean, what made Zaneblade Chronicles really special was the fact that it has a massive open world, uh, and everything just worked really nice together, and it was just a long game, and the gameplay was perfect, and everything was just fine and dandy. Uh, the story was really good, the story had lots of twists, uh, and stuff like that, so, yeah, I mean, that's what made it great, that's what made it a uh, cult classic eventually. And yeah, and now we got now that we come to Zenblade like Chronicles X, which fair warning, this is very from what I've seen of the game, which is not a lot because I tried to remain spoiler free. Um, it's very Japanese, let's say that, and it's very anime esque. Uh, it's certainly more Japanese and more anime than Zenblade like Chronicles was. However, it's it's basically on the same page as Zeno Saga. Which I did watch what people call movie. I did watch a quote movie of the saga, which is basically of uh, them, which is basically some guy putting all the cutscenes together. I watched that of all three games. Then I couldn't find anything for Xeno Gears. I did watch a full playthrough of uh, Xeno Blade Chronicles, which I'll tell you what it is. It's uh, I'll tell you who did it. It's uh, Chugga Conroy, which is one of the better series I I could I found, despite the fact that he skipped all non-essential dialogue. Which I don't like. I prefer at least letting people read it and not just skipping it. Because he has a habit. Because because Chuckle Connor has a habit of just skipping dialogue, which makes it difficult to watch. Uh, very difficult for me to watch because I have to constantly be ready to press A on my Wii U gamepad in order to pause the video. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. But just for the general story and just general knowing where things are, that's a very good playthrough. Uh, if I ever do, or that's a very good let's play. If I ever do a let's play of you know Blade Chronicles. I will do just at my own pace, like we're going to do here. Uh, basically, I'm not going to do a 100% run. I do, I do have the guide. I'm not going to do 100% run. I'm just going to play the game at my own pace, and we'll see what happens when it happens. So yeah. But yeah, basically, Xenoblade Chronicles is interesting. Uh, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles X improves on Xenoblade Chronicles in various ways. You can see them all here. Uh, as you can see, you got the big mech. You can pilot those. You got guns now, like Xenoblade Chronicles, where you guns to certain characters, but that's about it. And, um, yeah, and the, ma and the world's been massively upgraded. Like, the world, like, this game world is, I think Xenoblade Chronicles was as big as Japan, and this is bigger. Or was, or is this the size of Japan, but, and, and it's bigger than Xenoblade Chronicles, I forgot which, but, it's like a very, very big game world. Open world, you can go wherever you want, whenever you want. Not recommended because creatures have levels and those creatures can mess your stuff up if you get in their way. Uh, so yeah. But you can go anywhere, wherever you want. Unlike Zeblood Chronicles where you can only go... Well, the story was told linearly, or... Le basically it was told in a straight line. You couldn't deviate from the story. 
Oh, you can you, you know you couldn't just explore wherever you wanted. You go yeah, you could only go where the story wanted you to go, which was unfortunate. However, this is different. Uh, and unlike the Blade Chronicles, where you were only limited to the backs of giants essentially, uh, backs of titans, this is an actual planet. You can go wherever you want. Uh, so yeah, those are the differences. So enough talk because we spent 12 minutes getting here, which is not as bad as which is not as bad as I could do. Uh, let's go. Now, if you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this game, I uh, I do have the special edition which came with the soundtrack on a pretty cool uh, USB thumb drive. All right, there you go. That's the same thing they can force, and they got the Clerks edition guide which came with a pretty cool uh, a screen cleaner, which is. Basically, this image right here. Uh, and the Clicks Edition guide also came with the concept part, which I'm not going to look at until I'm done with the game. And it came with a cool little uh, photograph, which I put up on where I, used to get, where I used to keep my CDs for the computer. And again, I'll probably put that as the first video in this playlist if I remember this time, because I forgot with all the previous unboxing videos, I forgot to put them in there. Play this. I will do that eventually. I'll, I'll do it probably. I'll do that probably tomorrow when I upload this. But anyway. All right. So yeah. Let's first go to settings. Let's first go to settings. Oh, deep at eh? All right. Yeah, that's backwards. Oh, I can go top. All right. That's good. That's interesting though. Uh. Oh, we cannot have the auto power. We can have the auto power down, not over it. Okay. Oh wait. You. How did I change the settings? This is weird. I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller, by the way. Let's try using the Wii U Gamepad. Okay, I guess I can't change those things right now. This is weird. The controls are really weird. Okay, so the sub cells are on. Okay. Alright, hey, I got that done, let's, I guess, away we go. I don't know much about this game. I do know the story a little bit. Uh, yes. Yes, he gets to fall asleep and I don't want to turn off and I fall asleep. But of course, that's, like, that's not going to happen as I'm going to be full recording this game or... I'm going to be recording this game. Maybe I'll do some off-camera work, but for the most part, I'm going to be recording it, so I don't want it to turn off on me. Uh, so that's disable. Yes. Yes. System data saved. Okay, okay. Um, that's fine. Okay, let's confirm that. Thank you for that. It's my head gear. Oh, you can turn helmets on and off. That's good to know. I guess we're done. When playing online, your in game profile will be shared with other Xenoblade Chronicles X player. That's fine. Oh, is this a long tune or is it a cutscene? Nintendo! Okay, I'll say it's a cutscene. That is part of the Voyager. More or less soft.
Save Lake Chronicles X and Orcross. Uh, oh, wow. That could be something. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. Oh, yes, that could be very well a problem. Oh, wow. That's not good. Their weapons were terrifying and powerful beyond human reckoning. Our planet was overwhelmed. Its surface reduced to ash and rubble in the blink of an eye. The coalition government knew the war was coming. In response, they prepared the Earth Life Colonization Project, Project Exodus. Interstellar arcs were launched all across the planet, from every major city on Earth. Wow. Bravely, we leapt from our cradle, our home for the last four and a half billion years. But most of the arcs never even made it out of the atmosphere. Only a small handful managed to escape. Among them was our ship, the White Whale. After leaving Earth behind, we spent two years wandering in space, searching. We thought of ourselves as the lucky ones, the pioneers who would settle a new world. Oh, great. Caught up with us. Literally. Yeah, they kind of did. The blitz was unrelenting. If not for the efforts of a lone hero, we would never have survived. Our ship took heavy damage. We lost control. With our flight systems down, the white whale was pulled into the gravitational field of a nearby planet, its hull shattering and breaking to pieces as we plummeted toward the surface. You have landed, I think. Since then, two months have passed. Well, well, that's very unfortunate. Uh, stop being any lustful of people. Oh, hello, uh, character creator. I didn't see you there. Yeah, this is where the anime Japanese comes into play right here. It's the character designs. It is the character designs. Oh, thank you, Saint. Yeah. And if we're going with the, uh, if we're going with the Xeno Saga aesthetic, which is interesting. Guys, uh, Xeno Chronicles didn't look like this. They looked more European, yeah, to be honest, but yeah. Then background. You got an ocean around here? Nope. I guess I'll just go with VR room. Confirm. Actually, back it up. Back it up. Uh, sub menu. Okay. I can save the individual period inside. Yes, you can. That's pretty cool. You can make a character you like, you can save it. That's really nice. Alright, what do we have here? 
Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Yes. Yeah, I like the haircut. Oh, this got mine better. Yeah. I guess if they want to call these guys all their men, oh well, okay, that's fine. Yeah. The ice. The ice. Oh, that's all oh, those ice are too bad. And then this guy. Okay, go a few then we can change your hair. Oh, okay, that's what that does, okay. Oh, and then, and then use uh, the shoulders to change that. Alright, I guess like that. I mean, change the body size with D pad. Yeah, with D pad. Uh, we'll go, I'll say, like right there. Because I'm, you know, actually, uh, no, I'm, no, I stand at 5'8 in shoes, more or less. And without shoes, I'm 5'6. So I'm uh, just I'm just I guess I'm just a below average without shoes, but however this guy this guy is in shoes so mm. I guess that uh, hello right there okay that works. I'll go here, uh, skin color that's gonna be an easy. Oh wow, it's D pad. Um really? Yes really. Uh, yes really. Oh, I saw it over here. Oh, I've been, oh wait, yeah, I saw it, but there we go. I'll take that. Now, I guess I'm a little bit more red. You know, making him. I'm definitely that. All right, then next. Nope, I don't know. I used to have freckles, but I don't anymore. Cheeks, not good section. Yeah, uh, my I have very yeah, I don't have cheeks that go in like that, nope. Scars Nope. Not those scars. And random moves. Don't have these either. Okay, confirm. We gotta confirm on that. There, I should have an easy one. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, uh, the customization scheme's a little odd. I mean, it's kind of in depth and it's kind of not. I mean, it, it's simplified. It's simplified. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of the other Xeno games have any customization in them at all, other than just equipment, so yeah. And then we want the long hair. There you go, we want that. Yes, we want that, yes. Hello, mine is way, 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 way. Okay, is that a ponytail? Nope, just slip, just slip back, all right. Uh, yeah, mine, my hair is way, 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 way more, th way thicker than this. But I should, but I should do. Oh, bangs or not? I don't really have bangs. And a mustache? Not, not, the, not the biggest of mustaches, but I should do. You wear that dumb beard. Okay, now we're going to make it brown. Oh, you see these hat. There we go, okay. Yeah, my hair is interesting. It's basically a dark brown that shines, uh, shines gold. Like that. Yeah, like that. 
Yeah, like that. Is there anything that's not red? Except the one I just found. Yeah, nothing else that's not red, okay. Actually, that works. Yeah, that works. Yeah, uh, yeah, I definitely have more. Yeah, I, I have actually blonde roots, or I have white roots, or so see-through roots, something around there, uh, and the dark brown hair. So yeah, that works. Next, roots color. Oh, so you can change roots as well. Ah, uh, that's what those are, okay. Yeah, it's keeping the same. I guess I can change, I guess I cannot change my mustache color, or at least I'm not seeing how to right here. Alright, what's next? Keyboards? Alright. Oh, wow. The hacks. Okay. Either they, either they start genetically modifying the eyes or adding, uh, or cyber eyes. Or they're just contacts. Depends. Depends. Alright, we want for this to be dark blue. Actually, that shall do. Or two. Oh, the pupil. Yeah, that's in black. And then makeup. This for the sake of science. Okay. Never mind. It's actually the colors. Oh, wow. Okay, look at this. Alright, we can go in with uh, insignia and stuff like that. Tarts. Okay, I can't really see those because uh, hair's in the way. That bad selection of face paint, better than most games. And notice these are face paint, these, these are not tattoos. Notice that. I'll let that go. Hey, you can have whatever you want on your face. Alright, I don't know. Thank you, I confirm. Voice. Oh, here's why simple. All right, it's on. Hey there. I'm sure up the volume a little bit. Based on uh, the main here, the main character of uh, the last game, I just all. Shall we? Cheers. Hey. Hey. Let's do this. 
My voice is not that deep. I can maybe it is a little that deep, but yeah. Ready and willing. Ready and willing. All right, it's on. I'm off balance. Nope. Oh. So easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. Maybe. I like him the Ribble, actually. We'll work well together, I'm sure. Game and set. What? We'll work well together, I'm sure. Woohoo! We did it! It's nice to be wanted. They staggered me. Uh-huh. Here I come, sunshine. Let's do this. Ready? Game and set. Easy peasy. Yeah, we were real. Alright, I think we're ready. I can know where our am one change. My mustache is not black. Okay, it, it does have black strains in it, but it's not black, it's brown. Yes, I have a brown mustache somehow. Uh how do you change mustache right now? Okay, that's such guys that changing. Wait a second. That's like changing. Okay, your I guess your eye I guess your eyebrows and mustaches or I guess your eyebrows and facial hair is always the same color. Uh that's rather interesting. Kind of disappointing, but oh well. I really think I can figure it out right now. But yeah. And look, we don't have an uh, enemy eye. That, that helps. Yes. 